Greetings, this is Daniel Persado for Photoshop 3D. I just wanted to go through Photoshop 3D and kind of give perspective on how to approach it if you're coming from it from a photographer's perspective or even a designer's perspective. You have a 3D space here and you should really think about this as a photo studio. This is my camera. I have a Nikon camera or, or Canon camera and I'm walking around the model. Let's ignore the background for, for a moment. This object would be your model. This is you walking around the model, looking at the model. I'm going to click on it. You could say, hey, model, move around. Model moves around. Click again, it'll select the material, which would be the makeup, the clothes, all those things. So if you approach it in that manner, and the lighting is, you know, just like lighting in a studio, you would prep all kind of lighting or however you want the lighting in the studio. And if you look at it in that context, 3D is not that difficult or different than working in photography. I just wanted to throw that out there as a kind of a different approach or a different way to look at 3D rather than computational, mathematics, 3D Max, Maya, Moto, however you want to look at it. If you approach it in that manner, I think you'll enjoy Photoshop CS6 Extended 3D features that much more.